So let's check out how to use PowerShell to find all the registry values that a group policy object modifies. So first off, I've got the group policy object name that I'll be using, line 13. And then the most important thing that we'll be focusing on is using the get GP registry value command line. So it's part of the group policy module. And that requires two things. First off, the name of the group policy object that you'll be looking at and the key you want to look at. And for the key value, you can be very specific and go all the way down to the end, or you can start at the top. And that's what we're doing here, starting at the top, looking at the local machine system. And then this one comes back with an error. That means that there wasn't any settings in that key. So that means we can simply ignore the system and move on. And so for the software key, on the other hand, you can see that, that oh, it, it does modify something in here. But very specifically, we based on this output, we know that it's something further down. So let's walk down that rabbit hole. So we've got uh, the policies key. We can look at that because that's the full key path down there. And then, oh, that specifies something deeper. And then we can keep going down there, but we're just going to skip right to the end since I already know how far down this goes. And so there at the FVE key, we can see that we actually have some output that has a value name property. So that's what we're specifically looking for down here is the value name. So this is actually one of the registry values that is set by that group policy object. So the problem here is if you want to look at all of the registry value settings that is set by group policy object, you're going to have to type them out, do a lot of typing. <laughs> but let's introduce some recursion here to solve that problem. I found an example by a guy named Darren, also known as the GPO guy. Uh, he's got a repository on GitHub where he's got a script called the ADMX to DSC, converting ADMX files to DSC configurations. I'm not going to get into that, but he's got one of the functions in there is called recurse policy keys. It's a function that does exactly what we're trying to do. So I took that and I rewrote it my style and came up with get GP recursive registry values. And then here, this takes two inputs, the group policy object name, as well as the key. And then what it will do is it'll go down that rabbit hole that we just did earlier, but it does it without all the typing. And so you can see here, line 38, we have that get GP registry value for the group policy object name and the key. And I've also got error action silently continue. That will ignore errors if it runs into a key that it doesn't have any settings for. So you remember for the first one, we got that error. This will ignore that. If it has a value name property, line 40, it'll output it. Otherwise, it will run the get GP recursive registry value. So run itself again, specifying the full key path as the new key. So remember that full key path is the name of the next step down in that hierarchy. And of course, specifying the GPO name as well. All right, so we add this to our session. And then to use it, we simply specify a group policy object name and the key. And this time, it'll give us all of the settings in that key. So for line 48, so we got a bunch of settings that time. And then line 50, so current user, we can look at the current user as well. And there's some settings there as well. But problem here is that these lines are not only really long, but we've got to make two lines. Or, you know, if we want to look at more, we want to check other keys as well. We've got to type more and more. If you've watched any of my demos, you'd know that I hate typing. I would rather type in just one group policy object name and get all the settings. So thankfully, PowerShell lets us write a function that will do that. So the first thing we need here is we need to specify all the base keys that we want to search. So I've got four of the main ones here. I'm assigning it to the base keys variable. And then same GPO name from before. I've just got it listed here to remind you. And then for each of those keys, we want to run that get GP recursive registry values function. And then you can see I'm also piping that to a format table just for readability. Now we have settings from the software key and from the software key as well. Well, one of them must be the current user and the other one must be the local machine. So we can wrap that in a function that was going to make our lives just a breeze. So I've got a function that I'm calling get GP all registry values. And this takes one parameter, the name of a group policy object, and that's it. But you can see also I've got an alias of display name as well. So if you use the get GPO commandlet, that outputs a group policy object where the name of the group policy object is stored in the display name property. So I want to be able to pipe that output to this function. And so I need that alias so I can use a value for pipeline by property name. So that's where you can see value from pipeline by property name is equal to true so that that'll work. And so in my begin block, I've got two things. I've got my base keys and I've also got that function from, from before. 
have just got it minimized here. I'm not trying to hide anything. Here it is. Check it out. Just the same thing from before. So my process block is one for each loop, and that's it. And that's the same for each loop from before. I mean, nothing special. So I'm going to add this into my session. And then to use it, this is a little bit easier than having to type out multiple commands over and over and over. So I've got get GPL registry values, I specifying the name of the group policy object. That's it. And you can see it's outputting what we want. Or remember we have that uh, value from pipeline by property name with the display name alias, get GPO with the name of the group policy object, piping that to get GPL registry values. Same thing. Cool. But now we can also pipe get GPO dash all and pipe it to the where object commandlet and filter by whatever property we want. So you can see here, I'm looking at the display name property because that's where it stores the name of the group policy object. I'm saying all the default group policy objects and then piping that to get GP all registry values. And that, that gets me all the settings in my default group policy objects. And you can see, yeah, this is a demo environment. We've only got, what, two settings? So not a whole lot. Then if I want to look at all the registry values set by all of our group policy objects, I can do that with this one-liner. Brilliant, let's run it. Bam, there's all of my settings. In here. And again, not a lot sort of demo environment. So that is how you use PowerShell to find all the registry values set by a group policy object.